said, um, my results are starting to die off and I don't know why and I don't know what to do. Okay. Um, <laughs> and um, I will say from the jump that I haven't set up the UTML pa um, UTM par parameters yet. Because okay. um, <laughs> uh, I know yeah, you tell everyone well, that everyone needs to do that and I haven't yeah. done it yet. <laughs> Are you seeing a decrease in your results on Shopify? Uh, uh, no, not quite. I'm just seeing a, um, an increase in costs. Um, so my cost per acquisition is increasing. And then what I'm finding is I'm just having to try new audiences very frequently, whereas I had an audience. Sorry, please cut me off whenever because I will just carry on talking. <laughs> yeah, because there could be a disconnect. You might because the, so right now, mm -hmm. only 4% of people have accepted the ad tracking with iOS. Okay, so that means 96% of people have opted out across the world. Right. Okay. That have, you know, updated 96% just don't even want to be tracked. Pretty crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So <laughs> if you're seeing a rising cost here, it could be directly related to not that you're not getting results, but because you're not seeing them. So therefore Facebook's not tracking them. Okay. But if you go to your Shopify real quick, yeah. if your results have been stable on your analytics, go to your analytics and just like, when did you notice an increase in results? I mean, an increase um, in cost. I, oh about like a week ago, a week and a half ago. Okay, do you just want to pull in yeah. this entire month and then yeah. whichever date you think? So I literally launched this store on the 9th of last month. Um, okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, so, so I mean like, now. there's, when, when did you notice the decrease happening? about a week or so ago and it's not so much a decrease in results it's just the um my ROAS is going down so yeah, I, yeah I'm almost positive it has to do with your um okay. your actual tracking not picking it up okay so I would just make sure you have the URL parameters in place and then you're okay. just gonna have to face some of this tracking not okay. wanting to populate so if you go to your ads manager and pull in the same time frame for this month Sure. Do you have any other ads outside of Facebook? No, I'm, I'm just pushing traffic straight. Okay. Facebook, Let's see what yeah. the total orders is here. Um, okay, so this is, can I just hold it? 27? Oh, yeah. okay. That's yeah. for this campaign. That's for this campaign. And then, so this is supposed to be like my successful um, <laughs> campaign. Yeah. If you can just tally up these total website purchases. Okay. So you said, what was the other one? 27 and then 27. Yeah. All right. And then we've got look at likes. 13 and then 13. And any then, others? No, the rest are just, I'm um, trying to build my audience and anything you turned off below. Uh, these were before I started doing purchase conversions. So just these three. So, I mean, you have 57 purchases mm -hmm. here, and then in your ads manager, you have 84. I mean, in your Shopify, you have 84. Uh, that's what you saw, yes. <laughs> 83. I was off by a number, I think. Scroll down a little bit, total orders. Oh, uh, so yes. You're tracking less in your ads manager, but you're getting a higher volume of orders. Okay. Down here. Okay. It does look like there was a decrease, but it looks like it rebounded. Okay. So what you've changed recently anything specifically um i've launched some new creatives because i wondered if i was suffering from ad fatigue but everything okay. is under two let's go so. to your ad sets just to look i mean what it looks like to me is the tracking but you know let's just double check to make sure okay. and then you just want to go inside should i go to one with more more conversions no rank it by cost per result let's just see here and then just scroll down. All right, any reason you turned off the one that has three purchases there? The cost per result is just way too high. Scroll down a little bit. On the one that's $8 or eight, um, is that euros or pounds? Um, pounds, pounds, oh, yeah, so eight yeah. pounds, that's still too yeah. high. Yeah, so on a, at an ad level, I'm getting, I'm just gonna click over to another campaign if you bear with me a second. At an ad level, I'm able to like achieve, um, four pounds per purchase or like three pounds. I noticed that's when I start getting the sales, but then across the ad set, I can't seem to maintain that even when I 
like cut things um and then I know there's the offset so if my ROAS is high enough it kind of doesn't matter but as you can see my ROAS is dropping off so. what's your break even um 1.8 okay and you're at a all right so go to what's your total spin for the month uh oh um let me go back to the campaign 900 all right all right and then what's in your ads manager revenue where do I see that? Sorry, Shopify. I keep saying oh, okay. the wrong thing. Um, and then, all right. So four, all right, one four five zero. So you have a one point four six right now. So yeah, let's try to get above that. Yeah. All right. So what you can do is go to your ads in Facebook. Go to all ads on the far right hand side. Then rank it by amount spent. Mm, oh uh, no, nope, I'm not seeing that. So X out of that blue thing right there that says selected yeah and then click on the add column there you okay, go yeah. and then rank it by amount spent and then search and filter and type in active uh, yeah and then she's the bottom one yep okay and then let's see here let's scroll down all right. So for this first one here that has no purchases, mm -hmm. you could like select that. Yeah. And we're just going to select any that don't have any purchases and just keep going down. Okay. I did just turn that one on today, but does that and matter? Can you do, can, are you on a Apple? No, I'm on a Windows machine. All right. Can you press control minus? Yeah. Oh. And then do it one more time. Can you still see this? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Sorry, I just, we, I was only seeing like three ads at a time. I no, that's okay. zoomed out, so it was easier for us. All right, and then let's see here. Where's the amount spent? Okay, I see it now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's select. Let's go up a little bit more. Okay, there's really only one ad here that we can turn off. Yeah. Um, what about this one? This one? No. No, it looks like it could get a purchase. It's white right within the range. Um, okay. What we'll do now is just go ad set level by ad set because typically you'd see a big discrepancy here, but there's really only one ad that's worth turning off. Sure. Yeah. So I'll just turn this one off now then. Yeah. And then we're going to okay. go ad set by ad set just to optimize real quick. Okay. Because if we can just make a few tweaks, it wouldn't be hard to gain another 0.4 row ads out of this. Okay. Okay. Shall I actually, do rank it by amount spent here because you don't even have. Okay. Yep. Then you can cut that one at 12. Mm. this one purchases oh sorry yeah this was yesterday so still turn it off yeah because you're getting purchases right within this range so i okay. mean like you should be able to and then the one that says 0.56 turn that one off for the row as yeah the one okay. right above it and then yeah then what you're going to do is that um the mums at the top scroll all the way to the left no you're gonna leave that one on scroll all the way to the left i want to see what the budget is on this you can change it to performance on your column we just need to make a few tweaks to these things all right you're gonna raise your budget on that one yeah see the little edit icon oh, next to ten. yeah sorry give me a minute wrong sorry <laughs> double this budget because you're getting good results here so like that's fine so like us removing a couple of things and then raising the budget on the things that are getting a good realize is a good yeah. thing okay that's fix your overall deficit okay like i bet these changes alone get you past the 1.8 but um what about this one at 30 daily that doesn't have any purchases this one i turned on today because I'll explain the rationale behind that. This audio audience was working really, really well. Okay. Um, and then it kind of started to die out and I turned it off. Um, but I thought, no, so yeah, it started to die off and I'd left it for a little while. And I'm just, I put some new creatives in there and thought maybe I'd run it, test it again, but okay. just at a higher budget than last time. All right. Go to the ad level on the mum set, mum's net audience. All right. Scroll all the way to the right. Are these new ads in here? Yes. When did these come in? Um, three days ago. <laughs> okay, cut all the ones in the center and leave the ones with the purchases. Okay, like these ones. Yeah. 
Okay. Just a little bit of optimizations is going to push you over this 1.8. And then like from there, we'll see what, you know, happens over the next couple of days in terms of ROAS and what changes. Cool. Because like now if you scroll over. To the left or the right? Yeah, to the right. And then just keep going, keep going. So here's the ROAS 2.54. Do you see right next to discard draft, it has a little uh, refresh thing? Yep. Press that. You're okay. now so like that's okay. a jump, right? Yeah. So like we didn't do that with all the other things, but if you just refreshed and you know check them, they they've gone up in ROAS just from changing things. So okay. I guess sure. we've gotten a point four out of this account already. Brilliant. Um, Chase, so obviously going by the, the course, you know, it says like do um, wait until each ad has 500 impressions and stuff like that. If I'm still getting purchases on the other ads, can I kind of waive that rule a little yeah, bit? Okay. Yeah, you can. Okay. Okay. Perfect. You can always wa waive the rule if it's, if you actually have the conversions. Okay. Lovely. Okay. Um, one last thing. Um, I just wanted to know in terms of how the Facebook algorithm works, when you, if you're, if you're getting results, but you're not quite hitting your, the row as you want, does sometimes spending more help that? Cause you know, when you start with like the five pounds, 10 pounds or dollars, um, does spending more, can it, does it like kickstart the machine more? Cause I don't want to spend you more. doing that on an audience that's working really well. Yes. Okay. So scroll to the left. So right here on keep going to the left. All right, you're inactive. I don't even think you're in learning on that. Mine never shows. It never tells me if I'm in learning or not. Okay. And I don't know why. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. That we'll see if it shows up here pretty soon. But okay. Yeah, so let's see how these changes go. Just increase budgets on the things that are above a 1.8 for now. Okay. And then cut the ads that aren't getting purchases. Okay. Okay, cool. That's going to get you above your 1.8. Like you're not far off, so it's not going to be hard to get above it. Okay. Brilliant. Well, 